The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the Jagaban himself, he said that Obasanjo, former military head of state, a dictator, and also former um, president of Nigeria, does not have the moral value, does not have the right to choose or endorse president for Nigerians. He further stated that the endorsement of Peter Obi by Obasanjo is a blind man leading another blind man. That man recommends a leader for you in Nigeria. No! Is that no sending an agent to pick your pocket? Huh? A blind leading the blind. I'm sorry. I'm not insulting you medically impaired people. Or it don't go work. They will end up in the ditch. If I talk about Obasanjo and Obi, uh, you think they are human beings together put. One who don't know the way cannot show the way. Hi everyone, welcome on board to Hopper.tv. This is a season. You know, Bola Metinumbu, all of a sudden, he has started responding verbally. I mean, not using proxies. He has started responding to whatever it is out there that is put out against him. He doesn't care if you are a military, ex-military general like Obaso Njo. If it is Atiku, he goes head on. He is not afraid of anybody. That's because they all know that that position, that presidential position, that Asoro, that Aso Villa, is the final of the final. It means once you step in there, nobody can probe you. Nobody is probing Obasanjo. Nobody's going to probe Buhari when he leaves. And if Tinubu gets in there, no one will probe him again. You will never hear that EFCC went after him. They might go after um, his children if they want to. They might go after wife, but not the president directly. That is what it is. Now, Bola Metinumbu has been accused and many other presidential candidates have been accused of verbally insulting and abusing themselves. And they say they are setting a bad example. Let us hear more. All right, Dr. Bati. Okay, number one, I think that uh, politicians presidential candidates and their spokespersons must realize that all of this race is going to end by March. By March, we will know who has won, who has lost. Okay, so how do they face the people they have abused after the elections? How do they face, you know, uh, live up to the enmity that they have created? Uh, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed who is calling uh, uh, Baba Obasanjo, a blind man. Okay, so after the election has been won and lost, will he be able to stand in front of Obasanjo and say, uh, you are a blind man? The same blind man that he went to visit in uh, Abeokuta. Apart from calling Obasanjo a blind man and uh, P2B, to, P2B, to P2 I hear that that is uh, the way he's called, you know, a blind man. He also said that uh, Atiku is a customs uh, officer who does not know anything who has no knowledge of uh, uh, ethics and who cannot even define the ethics of civil service uh, provision. We don't need all of that. What we need are the ideas about how you want to lead uh, Nigeria. Probably we'll come and say, well, what Nigerians do not know is that the man speaks other languages <laughs> that may not be known to Nigerians. <laughs> Maybe it's a polyglotal, you know, uh, affectation. Uh, so when he says blah, 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 or he says guru, 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 or you know, <laughs> maybe he's a polyglot. But then his strategies need to identify that language for us. I say, he's a polyglot. He speaks in many tongues oh as the spirit moves him. That's exactly what I mean. This might sound funny, you know, the lady giggling 
she is so excited. It sounds funny, right? But the reality and the truth is this. Whatever it is that will become of February, March, will determine what your life will be for the next eight years and even more. Let us be very serious about this. We know that uh, media houses often take sides, um, depending on who is bankrolling or who they just choose to speak in favor of. Arise Television has decided to speak in favor of Peter Obi, and whatever it is that they broadcast, whatever it is that they talk about, is to kind of place Peter Obi in a better light. On the other hand, we have Channel Television. Um, Channel Television has also been doing their own. They've been kind of like speaking in favor of Bola Metunubu, but they've been able to put a balance between it so as not to appear like APC Media House, Labour Party Media House. Now, that being said, let us focus on some of the points that a lot of people have missed. And what is this point? If a politician comes in front of you to speak and to make promises, it doesn't mean if they step in there, they will fulfill it. What does that spell out to be? There are politicians who have the ability to speak. They know the right thing to say, but they are simply scamming you. Once they get in there, they will do something else. There are politicians who do not have that ability to express themselves, but inside of their mind, inside of their thought, they know what and what to do. That is it. Unfortunately, we are in a country where everyone is struggling to become this, to become that. And once they get in there, it becomes a personal family, friend. In fact, nepotism is the next thing. Enriching themselves and that's it. Nothing more. As I was saying initially, I say any of these criminals, it doesn't matter if it's Peter Obi, Atiku Abubaka, Bola Metinubu, once they step in there, all their sins are wiped away. Or have you ever seen... EFCC, go after any president in Nigeria or go after any head of state? No. Immunity covers them till they die. And that's what it is. Well, Ufayo Seni also has something to say. You know, he has been critical about Bola Metinumbu and um, he is more outspoken when it comes to delivering his thoughts and where he stands. And... It is something that is worth listening to. I mean, come on, let us hear what he has to say and we'll talk more. Politicians are hypocrites. If you don't favor them, they abuse you. They call you bias. They are surrogates who even try to teach us journalists our jobs on TV, like we've seen them in the last week do. Now, Bola Ahmed Tinubu is saying that Obasanjo is a blind man. This same blind man, he went into a closed-door meeting with Inota. He took Nuhu Ribadu, Baba Kande, and all the st st party stakeholders to go and meet in Ota. That's the same blind man, isn't it? The same blind man, the nation newspaper, wrote glowing things about the week after they visited Ota to see him. There's a tape running around. Sometimes we wish we can play these tapes where President Muhammadu Buhari was celebrating the endorsement of blind man Olusha Obasanjo in 2015 on CNN. Then, Obasanjo was a national treasure. We all remember how he tore his PDP, or he said he was going to tear his PDP membership. And he supported and endorsed APC then. Then he was not a blind man. Now he's a blind man. Sometimes when politicians speak, <clears throat> I hope Nigerians can read between the lines and ask them the most important problems as regards the debts rather than all the politicking. When I hear words like, uh, we'll turn Yahoo Yahoo boys around, a uh, Yahoo Yahoo boy is not a reflection of the decay Nigerian economy. It is not a justification for advanced fee fraud. But if we had done better to help these boys, Provide enabling environments. Are we going to have a proliferation of crime? And we had the blank slate under the APC government to be able to do all of this. But did we do it? No. 
In all of this, I like what he said. He will turn them to chip makers. Pretty much reminds me of, or it's akin to trying to say you will turn people in areas like Oluwole to detectives. There's a chip war going on. And I will be happy if Nigeria can even be part of the chip war, because chips will become the future. So it is time for us to talk more on introspection on development. But give it to him. He pulled out a crowd in Benin. He was able to get that out. A lot of things were said, but he was low on the things he was going to do for Nigeria. And we are not hearing a lot of that in the campaign. The campaigns are just about abusing one another. There are problems <laughs> on ground. This and is very brutal. Very brutal indeed. To solve the problem. You know, what is the, and his team. the president of Nigeria, Major General Mamadou Buhari, what is he going to and campaign on if he joins Bola Mehti in his campaign train or trail? What is he going to campaign about? What is he going to say? I have been able to put security in place in Nigeria. Economy is booming. Yes, I do understand that PDP messed up Nigeria. Nigeria yeah, for a long time. The, the military of, Chief, of states who were there, they did a lot of terrible things. Of the and PDP and a of had opportunity to do something right. Let us even talk about the individuals there. Or Basoja and the rest of them. They had the opportunity to do like the right said, thing, but they did not. We are talking about the when the, the PDP, price of crude oil, which is basically what and and Nigeria so feeds on, apart from some other resources that people do not have idea. They of. should be able to have a termination. They didn't do what they needed to, to do. Till date, no constant electricity. On the case but of Mr. Obasanjo knows Johnny how to write a piece to like the president, to, to this person, to the other. As if he knows everything. When he had opportunity, he messed up. He couldn't even do anything. When he joins Bola what Mehti. is what record does he want the to president Buhari going to campaign on? That's that is the question that I'm going to leave hanging to you guys. Yes, he's going to join. What is he going to start saying? Come on. What is he going to begin to talk about? I'm sure that most of you might be pondering on this APC loyalist. Don't let us fool ourselves. Do not um, just look at uh, these things um, just in an ordinary way. It will determine what will become of your generation, your life for a very long time. I am not campaigning for Peter Obi. I am not campaigning for Bola Metubu. Neither am I campaigning for Atiku. We are talking about breakup of Nigeria and, um, you know, like I used to say, it's a step towards progress. It is not a solution 100%. It is just a step towards progress. Do not think if you break up, that is it. No, you will have the same problem that you had as one Nigeria, but in a smaller version because it is not the name. It is not the, you know, the, the, the location that makes Nigeria what it is. It is the people, the way you think, your norms, what you've accepted, what is the practice, what is the culture, what do you know? What do you accept? What have you allowed? What means nothing to you? This is what shapes a country. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and share this video. Thanks for watching. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded.